Ooh, ooh. What's up my quesadillas? Back at you with a brand new video. Coming in with some facial hair. I'm just a mainly man. What can I say? I'm just trying to be an independent man. You gotta fake it till you make it. I was a young boy and now I'm a mainly man. I'm just growing up. I'm becoming a big boy. I went from the young calf to the strong bull. Uh, anyway, my videos have not been getting as much views recently and I'm not all about the views but at the end of the day, this is my livelihood and views equals money, money equals flexing, flexing equals bitches, bitches equals my girlfriend's jealousy, my girlfriend's jealousy equals more booty pics, more booty pics equals my happiness, my happiness equals her happiness. I'm just trying to keep my girlfriend happy, so I gotta switch things up a bit. I'm gonna go back to my roots and just sit down and talk to the camera. Today I'm gonna be talking about gamer grills. I don't really got anything to say about them. Gamer grills are gamer grills. And you already know yours truly has experience with all kinds of familia. So you know, I, 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 have my, I have my fair share of gamer grills. I'm a gamer, so it's a good time. I have two gamer grill experiences that I could think of. And the first one happens to be the girl that sent me nudes for the first time. And if you don't know what nudes are, Nudes are pictures commonly sent on Snapchat with a noodle or more specifically one noodle but usually peach and melons. Alright moving on to the story. Once upon a time in spring 2015 Japan. I was 15, a young boy, a growing up boy, an early man boy. It was a normal school night and I was playing some League of Legends. All of high school I played League. I'm pretty sure I put over 10,000 hours into that game. I could have done so much other things with that time but hey it got me through school and uh, some of my best memories are being on call with the boys and just playing with everyone. League at its peak was the best like season 3, 4, 5 was prime time League of Legends. That's when everyone played, everyone was on. I miss those days. I'm pretty sure everyone else who played League misses those days too. So yeah, I was just playing by myself. I was playing as Twitch. I was the ADC. I had a good Nami support that game and we fucked shit up. So after we added each other and then we started playing together. Duo bot, I was ADC. I was like the shooter person. And then she was like the support person that would like heal me and like protect me and stuff like that. It was freaking litness, all right? Before we played, I asked him, yo, you wanna, you wanna hop in a call? Cause you know, communication is key in League of Legends. Teamwork makes the dream work. He said sure, and then I saw his profile picture on Skype was a random girl. Maybe his girlfriend, I don't know. And then we call, and this dude had a girl voice. Turns out, this was an actual girl. Holy I never met a girl before. This was a big moment for me. I can't let this opportunity go to waste, so I showed her. That I'm a Twitch girl. God, I'm sure she was impressed with my skills because we kept playing and talking for a couple weeks. We became friends and uh, one day we were texting on kick and yeah, that was, that was when my whole life changed. So a couple months before my grade, I was a freshman by the way, my grade had a little assembly thing where we talked about nudes because there was an incident that happened apparently. My school had a lot of hoes. I wish I went there when I was older. But yeah, they were saying stuff like nudes are dangerous and just because they disappear on Snapchat doesn't mean they're actually gone. All kinds of stuff. But I remember at the time I was thinking, why are you telling us this? Like, who who actually does this stuff? I did not know the other side of half the bitches in my grade. So fast forward to the day my life changed. We were texting on kick and but yeah, I didn't give her a name. We'll call her Cassidy. So this is how me and Cassidy's conversation played out. We were talking about school and then she said she had a swim class and then we started talking about the swimsuit and then we started talking about her swimsuit and you know where this is going. She basically ended up saying, do you want to see? And I was like, oh, a, a, a picture of a girl in a swimsuit? Oh, okay. <laughs> so yeah, she sent the pic and I didn't see a swimsuit. There was a lot of things going through my mind at the moment. First, I was just like, whoa, <laughs> like, <laughs> I remember my heart beating super hard. 
I felt so warm. Blood was just rushing through my body. I had a full body stiffy. Like I could feel it just thinking of that moment. I'm not Christian, but I felt like I was going to heaven. Like I, I was transcending. Then I checked out the window because I was scared. I thought the FBI was going to come and get me or something. The assembly from before got me paranoid. After I saw the coast was clear, I sat down and went back to being a human boner. Fellas, can you relate with me? Like, did you feel like that when you got your first nude? I wasn't even trying to get that. It just happened. It just came to me. Straight out of the blue. It surprised me. And I didn't even, like... No, like I didn't see anything before. I didn't really, I've seen her face, but like I didn't really know what her body looked like. Like on Instagram, she covered herself up and everything. So like, I didn't even like, no, I didn't even expect that. I didn't even know she had that. I didn't think she had that. So it was like multiple layers of like, damn. Whoa. <laughs> I was an innocent kid. Like, I thought girls were pretty in my school and stuff, but I would never, like, I would never talk to a girl about, like, like, sex or anything like that, you know? Like, because, like, why, why, like, that's not even a thing. Why would that even be a thing? Like, why, why would they want to talk about that? We're too young for this shit. I don't know. But I didn't do nothing like that with girls. I just kept it... I just kept it all here. <laughs> like, I thought maybe seniors started doing that kind of stuff, but not freshmen. Like, that that's not even a thing. Like, what? I don't even know, but that's when my whole perspective changed. I started looking at girls a little different. Any one of these girls could be a hoe. Let's get it. And that's when I became a dog. It wasn't like 0 to 100%, but like, that's... That's when it, that's what started it. And especially with my next girlfriend, it's like, that got the ball rolling. But yeah, anyway, me and Kelsey kept talking and she started calling me senpai all the time and started using this emoji because this emoji didn't exist at the time. By the way, she was Asian, so it wasn't that weird that she was calling me senpai. Honestly, now that I look back, it would have been cute if I liked her, but I didn't. I'm sure she'll make her future man very happy though. She was nice, but I wasn't that into her. We were far away too, so like I didn't see it going anywhere. I didn't even think anything, honestly. Like my, my mind was blank, I guess. I never had a relationship or felt feelings at this point in my life. So yeah, literally like I didn't, I didn't think anything. But yeah, I kept talking to her. I don't even think I flirted. I was just being nice. But here's the thing. While this whole story was happening, this story was happening. So basically, I had stuff going on in school, like what was going on in this video. And then Cassidy caught feels. By the way, I wasn't even flirting. Like, I wasn't trying to lead her on or anything. Like, I was just being her friend, and we just played League together. That's it. But yeah, the week that Cassidy caught feels was also the same week that me and Tracy started dating. I never even talked to girls, so this was all just pure coincidence that it happened at the same time. I should have told Cassidy, but... I don't know, I was just, I guess, I guess I knew she liked me, so it's like, I don't know, I didn't, I didn't wanna, I didn't wanna be me. I didn't wanna break her heart. I'm a nice boy. So yeah, I was Cassidy's friend, and a week into me and Tracy's relationship, Tracy posts a picture on Instagram of us holding hands and tags me in it. And Cassidy saw that, she was upset. But yeah, then me and Cassidy stopped talking and the rest was history. Honestly, shout out to Cassidy, cause she was an artist and she actually made me a banner and, uh, profile picture for the channel and i used it for quite a while i would ask her if i could reveal her name and shout her out but i don't know where she is actually I, like i don't have any of her contacts i don't know what she's doing i don't know hopefully she's doing well all right well that was the first gamer girl story here's the second one so it was fall 2017 colorado i just became a senior so my school had a glow back to school dance every year on the friday of the first week of school and you know i go to every dance that's that's what i do that was the best part of my high school life and that's where i'm met the other gamer girl let's call her betty so i met betty on the dance floor betty came up to me and she said that she knew about my channel and i learned that she played league so i was like oh a gamer girl all right okay respect i was dancing with different people on the dance floor and then i started to notice that betty was following me around everywhere it was fine for a bit but after a while she started grabbing my wrist and leading me places that's happened to me twice before where a girl would just grab my hand and just you know take me somewhere it's a bold move it's cute but this girl was just 
not cute enough to pull that off you know how like if he's attractive then he's dominant but if he's ugly then it's harassment same concept she was like a six out of ten you ever see a girl and you don't know how attractive they are like they're just like right in the middle they're like Huh. It's kind of like, eh. A 6 out of 10 is like, that's like right, right there. That's like when it, that's like when it, that's like when it's like personality. It's a weird spot, you know? But this girl was more of a low 6. But I don't know, it's a 6 out of 10. So it's like, she was like an average. She was like a middle 6. Like, I, I don't know. Yeah, that's her. But she definitely gave me some creepy vibes. So I went to the bathroom. I freshened up. I came out and Betty was right there just waiting, waiting for me right outside the bathroom she was literally sticking to me like a leech i sat down because i don't know i was just tired a little bit checking my phone and stuff and then she sits down with me and then after a while she leans her head on my shoulder i didn't want to be mean and like push her head off or anything but i saw people looking at us so i pushed her head off pda in general is already embarrassing for me like i never really had a serious girlfriend at this point i didn't have no pda experience like that so yeah i definitely didn't want to look like this chick's boyfriend with her leaning all gracefully on me after that we went back to the dance floor and i just thought you know if she's following me around i might as well make her useful so i gave her my phone and told her to record me and that's how this video was made <laughs> The dance ended and she asked if we could hang out. I said, nah, sorry, like I was I was actually gonna hang out with some friends. She asked if we could hang out later and I said, yeah, just hit me up on League or something. I'm just super nice with girls. Like I don't wanna hurt them. Like I just want them to be happy. So it's like, whatever. Maybe I was kind of a pussy. Like I'm just too pussy to like, be like, <laughs> Alright, anyway, I thought if anything, we could just do a bot. She could be my support. I had some gamer girls I did that with back in the days. The next day, I was live streaming on Instagram, and I was talking about the dance, so I told this whole story. And then after I told the story, I looked at who was watching the live, and I saw Betty right there. Yeah, she never hit me up on League, but it's cool because I didn't play as much League senior year anyway. Like I said, League at its peak, that's when it was fire. Like I was one of the last remaining members on League. Like people still play League, like a lot of people still play League, but like, I don't know. I was one of the last people out of all my friends that, that still, that still uh, hung on to that game. So yeah, that's the two gamer girl stories I could think of. The second one is also one of the very few white girls to ever like me. White girls just don't like me for some reason. I don't know why. I'll have to find out one day. So yeah, those are the stories. Let me know if you want more of these kind of videos. Just stories or rants. Just sitting down, talking about something. Maybe give me some topics you want me to talk about. I already got a lot of ideas and like stories and stuff. But like, I'm just saying. I'm giving you guys the option. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please become a patron on Patreon. I'd be extremely thankful. Like I said, in the last video once i hit 50 patrons i'm gonna start doing some personal fun little live streams where we could just talk and interact so yeah go go help out if you want it helps a lot especially when views are low you know my motivation gets low it feels like it feels like no one like i'm not, I'm not trying to like fucking emotionally manip manipulate man i'm not trying to emotionally manipulate you guys but like i'm just saying it, it's like unmotivating like when when i get when i'm putting this work in right like i'm doing this the shit i've always been doing just grinding out busting out videos right and then people just leave all of a sudden like maybe because a couple videos i make are like different or something or not what they want to watch and then they just like fall off or something like i don't know I, I don't know what it is but like i think youtube also kind of fucks me over I don't want to blame it on YouTube, but like, I don't know, I feel like, I don't know, it just doesn't seem like I have a whole lot of support. Like, it doesn't seem like I got a whole lot of like real, like real followers that 
enjoy my content like it just seems more like seems like i have to like click bait or like like it seems like i have to like try to like get get people to be like watch me like i wish it was just like you know it's a k video so you know it's gonna be it's gonna be some content you know and and i know like i got i got a couple thousand quesadillas that you know y'all y'all got my back like that but it's like when i got like this amount of views and then all of a sudden it's just like like i go to america see chelly for a little bit and then i come back and it's like literally all of a sudden just drop and it's like i don't know like it just where where was the all the, the the support and stuff from before i still get a good amount of comments though like even on the recent videos that I don't get as much views so i know i got support but like it feels very unmotivating it feels like damn feels like what i do is for nothing you know what i'm saying i don't know but yeah that's why i want to grow my patreon because like then at least i got that real people that got me like i don't know i'm just i'm just speaking my mind but like i'll feel like i got I got people out there that support me and I got I got some quesadillas that that truly got my back you know and even if you don't then that's cool like if you don't got the money or even if you just simply choose not to like that's cool um just watching my videos that's like that like you got you you you're a huge supporter if you just watch my videos just by watching this video I know you got my back unless you just clicked on this video because it looked intriguing but you don't watch my other videos or you just like check up on me every once in a while I know I got a lot of subscribers like that and if that's the case then thank you I guess um but uh, please go check out my other videos like watch watch just watch like just watch them all just watch them all if you like one of my videos you'll like all of them i'm 99 percent sure if you like one video you will like all my videos can my couple thousand loyal ass quesadillas back me up on this one like is that is that true or not like all these videos are just me talking you know it's just vlogging and talking like it's all the same kind of thing even if the title or the video looks like it's gonna be like not what you're into like it's just me anyway it's just me you know so if you like me then you'll like it maybe a lot of people don't like me and they're just intrigued in whatever topic the video is about i'm going on a huge rant i'm sorry maybe i'm dumb but everything is my fault i know i just i just gotta do better i gotta do better yeah i know i know i gotta do better i just haven't been just putting my pedal to the metal enough i've been like maybe i've been chilling a little bit i don't know but i'm gonna put videos out more consistently every other day every three days there'll be a video so please just watch them i also hate when i post a video and it doesn't hit 10,000 views so i just want to wait for that video to get 10,000 views before i upload the next one if they're just consistently hit hitting 10,000 views like after like a day like i'll want to post like every other day like okay okay no you know what it's, it's not it's not you guys it's me it's me i don't know why i'm saying anything okay i don't know why i'm blaming anything okay this is all me yeah i'm a i'm a i'm a work harder i'm a work harder i got some vlogs of like the first month i was in japan and then after that i got something pretty exciting that i don't know maybe i think i'll yeah you know what i'll, I'll give you guys a little a little tease all right i'm gonna just say one thing it's a show all right all right anyway that's it i'm a I fucking I talk too much but I appreciate all the support though like seriously the people who do really support me or even the people who like support me a little bit take the time out your day to watch a couple of my videos and then the patrons I appreciate it all from like the least loyal quesadilla that watched the k-pop video subscribed and dipped to the most loyal quesadilla that watches every video and everything but hey, shit, my uncle just came home I'm at my uncle's house right now because like my house is pretty ugly あ、こんにちは。いいよ。今度動画作ってる。あ、いいよ。ゆっくりしてて。俺ね。うん。ゆっくりしてていいよ。オッケー。ありがとう。はい。いや、ま、ま、ま、シェアハウスはかなり汚